Welcome to the fifth video in the series Understanding and Managing Stress. This has been developed in partnership with the Financial Services Union and with AWARE, Ireland's national organisation to support people with depression and bipolar disorder. Throughout this series, we've looked at what stress is, how stress impacts on each of us differently, depending on our perception, depending on the level of support that is there, and depending on our ability and willingness to take support. In the previous two videos, we've looked at how we can use the first two steps of the coping triangle to help us understand exactly how we're thinking, what we're feeling, and what we're doing in relation to stress. These are the first two steps of my way of explaining Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, or CBT. In this video, we look at the third step, which pulls everything together. My interest in stress has always been not on who has the most stress, but on how we cope with it. So how do you cope with stress? Well, some people cope by indulging in activities that are actually harmful for them. Some people avoid, so if it's paperwork or admin or accounts, whatever it is, they avoid. Some people distract, procrastinate. Some people eat too much, drink too much, or engage in excessive activity, like maybe checking our phone too much. Whatever it is we do to cope with stress, we can always cope better. And one of the best ways of coping with stress is to recognize that we are experiencing stress and to do something proactive about it. So the third step of the coping triangle is called the coping sentence. This is very simple and really effective. So if you can fill in the blanks, I feel blank. So I feel stressed because blank. I feel stressed because I think I have too much to do. Not because I have too much to do. Remember, it's the perception that causes the stress. So I feel stressed because I think I have too much to do, but blank. And what comes next has to be very powerful. But I'll do my best won't work. It has to be so strong, it actually gives us a huge sense of relief. I feel stressed because I think I've too much to do, but I choose to ask for and accept support. I feel under pressure because I think everyone else can cope better than me, but I choose to act in a helpful way. And really, when it comes down to it, it is what we do that makes a difference in terms of how we cope with stress. The key thing for me about stress is not who has the most stress, is not how much stress I have, it's about how we can all learn to understand and manage stress better. We are now at our fifth and final stress relief exercise. We live in the world of technology, so I invite you to use this technology to help you cope with stress better. In particular, my invitation is for you to scrutinize the websites of the Financial Services Union and of AWARE, as if you're looking for help for someone you care very, very deeply about. Look through as much as you can of the websites and find three things in each of them that are of help to you in coping with stress. Thank you.